Welcome to a bowling conversation with me, your boy, everybody's favorite hidden character, L-I-N-G, where I go ahead and usually have conversation with different people with different types of cereals. But as you see, I'm looking around and nobody's around. It's just me and you. And that's when it turns to a digging in the crates edition, where I have a whole bunch of cereals and, a, and totes floating around here. And I got to eat them before they get stale. Waste of money stale. Anyway, today I'm going to hit y'all with a limited edition from Post Disney 100 Years of Wonder, Mickey Mouse Club, Confetti. Well, matter of fact, natural flavor confetti cake cereal. Now, my thing is when is confetti or even cake? naturally flavored. We about to find out. But what I do first, from a scale of one to five, I call the dry test. That's when we just open it up and see if it can be a snack going to school or work or wherever you're going. Let's see something. I like to see if we got aroma coming out. Coming out here, and I'm not gonna lie, it do smell kind of cakeish. Low key smell like a, uh, and they're little balls, but they low key smell like a uh, cake batter. That's it. Smell like cake batter. So, like I said, from a scale of one to five, we'll see if it's if it's a snack, if it's a snack you can take to work or school or whatever without the milk. Um, I'm not going to lie. It really, I don't know if that's the so-called natural, <laughs> naturally flavored confetti cake flavor, but it actually tastes like, like it smells like raw. Kind of like cake batterish. So if any of y'all like that, I might just like this. I say from a scale to one to five on the dry test, which I call it the dry test if I haven't mentioned it before. This word tasting like that to me, I give it a three. Because it's not too too overpowering either. It's just real light. Now, I'm not going to lie, cereal do change in all my experience. When you hit it, what I call the Saturday morning special, I mean, hitting it with the milk, old fashioned vitamin D milk. I know some of y'all always talking about the almond milk and the oats milk and all that. I'm not hitting my cereal with that. So here we go with old trusty. Favorite bowl. I don't know what I would do without it. All right, and see, when I hit it with this Saturday morning special, the milk, it turns to a scale of one to 10. See what it's made out of. You know what's sad too, when you get cereals like this, especially dealing with like Mickey Mouse and stuff, this is where they need to go back to putting toys back in the cereal in my opinion let alone say a limited edition that should be the limited edition part putting the toy back in the series so let's see i gotta stare it stare it around you know i gotta say something about cousin chuck i can't let this get soggy cousin chuck so here we go <laughs> i'm dropping stuff I didn't really change. Hmm. It 
really wasn't no difference. And then with the Saturday morning special, with the milk, I don't, tastes no difference. It's not bad. It's not nothing to be like, oh, it's nasty. It's not a strong hate flavor. I don't know if that's what they call the, the natural flavor confetti cake cereal. Like, I don't know what in the M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E could be naturally confetti cake flavor or what could be natural about cake or confetti, but yeah, uh, Mickey Mouse Club hitting it with the Saturday morning special. I give it, because mm, it's not too strong, it's not too overpowering with cake. Oh, man. Still the 1 to 10. I'm going I'm to give this just a 6, man. Because when you know, when you get cake and all that stuff involved, let, let's, let alone Disney. Disney, you supposed to be you supposed to be rough, man. You supposed to give your best. Look at this. I'm even wearing the Mickey Mouse shirt. Uh, I don't um yeah. That's all I can give it, man. Cause I I think it should have been a little stronger if it could have really. Cause at first it had that you know I wasn't mad at the tasting like uh cake batter. Cause maybe with the milk it went ahead and completed it, but yeah, it ain't ain't nothing to backflip about. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. So again, thank everybody. I want to thank everybody for the subscribing, the likes, the interaction with the comments. Man, I, I truly appreciate y'all. I gotta get more of a. You know what? I gotta swallow my pride and just start asking folks to jump on here with me again. Uh, I'm gonna have some. I know for sure. I didn't have some some of my. Uh, Folks that already been on here want to be recurring uh, guests on here. I look forward to talking to them because some of them has new uh, business and uh, other uh, ventures they going on. So I'm one to always uh, try to uplift everybody and, you know what I'm saying, have everybody win with me or without me. Either way it goes, hey, I love to see my people win. But without talking your heads off, I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Uh, maybe soon, uh, I think next time I have a guest, maybe I'll come up with a, some kind of little quick sweepstakes or something or give out some t-shirts like I do. But, uh, without holding y'all up, I want to tell y'all, thank y'all. You know, I never say goodbye. You know, I always say to be continued.